This is a tutorial for using Roland Zen Tracker app. This tutorial is about sound quality. In order to create a quality recording, you need to have a strong signal going into the recording system. When you look at the sound meter, it should be going up to zero decibel as often as possible without going over. This produces a high resolution recording. Over that, and you'll get a red light to show that you are overloading the system and therefore creating distortion. Tap on the button in the bottom left hand corner to switch to audio editing view. Occasional moments in the red are not a problem. You'll see that there are points where the audio reaches all the way to the edge of the frame. What you don't want to see are long lines at the top. That means you're overloading the system and getting distortion. The phone most likely has a built-in limiter, so it's actually difficult to create this issue at the input stage. To create this example, I turned up the gain, which I will discuss in a moment, and also in the tutorial on audio editing. Ah! This picture shows audio that was recorded too quietly, or a low resolution recording. You can do some things with plugins to fix this, but it's limited because when you increase the volume of the recording, you also increase the volume of the noise that the recording equipment naturally makes and any ambient sounds in the room you are recording in. If you want something to sound quiet and intimate like a whisper, do it close to the microphone. Then you'll have more control over it because it will be a higher resolution recording. If you are whispering far away from the microphone, then you are also picking up more noise from the room, even a quiet room, and more noise from the recording equipment because all electrical things make noise. This brings us to two terms related to loudness, gain and volume. These terms are often confused since they both affect our perception of loudness. As we will see, there is an important difference. Both volume and gain affect the loudness of sound, but at different points in the recording process. Knowing the difference will help you avoid distorted sounds that can damage your ears and audio equipment. Volume is the amount of sound at the output stage. Output is what is coming through the speakers, headphones, or what is being saved as the final recording. This is represented in Zen Tracker by the main track. Volume can be used to fade sounds in and out and to make space in different parts of the recording for other instruments. Changes in volume do not affect sound quality because sound quality happens at the input stage and the processing stage when you use effects. In other words, 
Volume will simply make whatever the sound is louder or quieter, whether it's a good quality sound or not. Gain affects the loudness at the input stage and the effects processing or mixing stage and therefore can affect the sound quality. Technically, gain is the ratio between the loudness at the input and the loudness at the output, but you can think of gain as the amount of energy being put into the sound signal. At this stage of the recording process, there is a limit on the amount of sound energy you can put into the recording system. If you go past this limit, the sound quality gets distorted. Gain is used to increase or decrease the energy put into the sound signal before the final output. If the energy at the input stage is too low, you can use gain to boost it. If your sounds are distorting at the output stage, you can look at where you used gain in the input and effects stages to reduce the energy to the signal to get rid of the distortion. The loudness at the input stage is affected by how close you are to the microphone and the quality of your microphone, but we are not worrying about microphone quality because we are just using the microphone built into the phone in the context of using Zen Tracker. Loudness is also affected if you are using a preamp. Again, in the context of Zen Tracker, probably not. And then loudness is affected by how loud your voice or instrument is. After the input stage, loudness is affected at the processing and mixing stage by the effects or plugins that you are using on the sound. As we recall from the tutorial on effects, each effect has its own gain and preamp knobs that you can use. Gain is often a separate plugin. In Zen Tracker, it's the paid plugin drive, which is a special kind of gain to produce a distorted sound without damaging your equipment. All this is to say, if your tracks, particularly the master output known as main track in Zen Tracker, if your tracks are going into the red too often and for long stretches of time, don't reach for the volume slider. Instead, look at the gain in each of your plugins first.